Evening guys, and uh, back by popular demand, we've got young David here. Uh, we thought we'd give our take on uh, last night's uh, tremendous performance, a victory against the enemy, Tottenham. Uh, it really, really matters, and uh, and you called it right, Dave. Um, what about that performance last night, mate? That was that was exactly <clears throat> that was that was spirited. Total commitment to playing Sari's way, exactly the same as against City, but this time with that little bit more belief, that little bit more, um, you know, total, total control, total commitment. Even though they were they were tired, they were jaded. There was players on that pitch last night who 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 played even better than they did against City. They're really, really 100% totally behind the whole club, totally behind exactly what he's doing, and they were full of belief and full of confidence, and they were re rewarded with the, the win that they knew they had to get. I love the way he's, he's swapping a few players around, just a little bit, just to keep it fresh. Love the way he's, he, he brings, you know, he knows exactly who's a little bit jaded, brings them off at the right time, brings a, a young player in to put a little bit of energy and enthusiasm in certain areas. And that's the way, you know, I'm sure he's going to use the youngsters, you know, to come in with a bit of energy, a bit of enthusiasm, just to keep it going, just to keep the team buzzing. He was a brave, because he took Hazard off, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. At that time, it was a very brave thing to do. Yeah, yeah. And you have to say now that uh, what we've got now, of course, is now a plan B. Yeah, yeah. And we've used that. It's almost like two carbon copy performances. Yeah, yeah. First against Manchester City, where we all expected us to go and play like we did against them yeah. at the Etihad. Massive spaces where they would exploit. Yeah. Um, but, of course, we were very compact, uh, very um, tight at the back, not yeah. giving an inch away. Yeah. And, uh, and he made some changes uh, from the team that played against City only a few days away. In fact, if you look at the energy levels of both sides last night, with Spurs that played the day before, yeah. they had an extra day's worth of rest and we've yeah. just done 120 yeah. odd minutes yeah. against City and yet we looked uh, much more of a much more energetic, much more full of um, you know, full of uh, full of life. Yeah. But looking at the changes that he made, let's talk about the most um, controversial one, of course, and one where I felt he probably he had to do, and he, and he made the point, and uh, he's certainly you know laying down the foundations. Look, I'm the man, I'm the boss, and he dropped Kepa, the keeper. Yeah. Um, and uh, I felt I thought that he really dealt with it in a very real mature way. Yeah. Um, he got a lot of stick off people on social media. I see prior um, to the match there, and people were quite were saying, "Well, hang on a minute. If it was a just a mistake, why is he dropping him?" Well, maybe he was protecting his player at the time, and he didn't want you know. And he maybe he was doing the right thing on the game against City. And with regards to last night, he, he dealt with it internally, um, and he's basically saying, "Now you're gonna, you know, you've got a fine. You know, we're gonna, and, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrest you." I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you today. Um, you're still part of my plans. You're still my number one goalkeeper, but I am the boss. And I, I just felt I, I think it's been a really good couple of games for uh, Maurizio Sorry. Yeah, I I I you know I felt that the club have dealt with it. He 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 um, he basically covered it because the media were going to be all over it. So he just smoothed it over by saying it's a misunderstanding but it was obviously clear that he was making a substitution and he should have respected that and the club have dealt with that they find him which is okay it's a bit of both wouldn't it you have yeah. to say that because he was slightly injured prior i know we're going back on yeah on the whole circumstances you know at wembley but i mean i remember watching it from the stands yeah and saying look he's injured obviously that's why he's made but maybe it was also a, a, technically a, br a brilliance of mine to bring on Willie Cabrera. We know he's a penalty specialist. Yeah. Manchester City, psychological as yeah. well. Yeah. And players are maybe having second thoughts, hang on, this goalkeeper knows where I'm going to place the ball. Yeah. You know, it was, a, a, tactically, if it was meant that way, yeah. seriously brilliant. Yeah. But you are absolutely right. Nevertheless, Kepa knew that his time was up. He was being asked to come off. He made... Regardless of whether he was... 
he, he made a mistake. Oh, he he said, carry on or not? Yeah, Kepa, <coughs> Kepa made a mistake. He's a young player, made a mistake. He, I don't know if he's a bit, um, I don't know, maybe he's getting paid a lot as a young fellow and it's all going to his head a little bit or something. I don't know, but, you know, he, he was a little bit... Well, he, he played the 120 minutes. Sorry yeah. to interrupt there, uh, Dave. He played yeah. the 120 minutes. Yeah. And don't forget, he'd gone through the whole... Uh, situations now minutes away from what could yeah. be his time, yeah. glory time, yeah. penalty shootout. Yeah, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. That's where the goalkeeper, yeah, yeah. you know, comes comes to the you know to, to the fore. Yeah. Um, and it, I just think it was you know a bit of everything there. But I think I think maybe psychologically that Maurizio Sarri kind of knew the press were really on this story about this yeah. insubordination and everything yeah. else yeah. and he was like right calm it down yeah protect the player yeah okay i'll make myself look a bit of a bit of an idiot yeah right but deep down was he upset well yes he was yeah but he was maybe time to draw the line yeah um concentrate on the team the overall team yeah deal with it internally yeah then the, the, the payment that Kepi's going to make, give it out to charity. Yeah. And then on top of that, um, drop him for the next game and say, look, there's your punishment. Yeah. But now, as he said after the game last night, it's done. It's over, you know. It's uh, over. It's over. It's over. He doesn't That's wanna, brilliant. He doesn't want to kill him, but he will be watching him in training. He will be watching his attitudes. And he'll either play the next game or he'll play the game after that. He, yeah. he will be back as his number one choice, but he's going to have to have the right respect and the right um, attitude in training. Otherwise, he, you know, he, you know, otherwise he wouldn't play. Every player's got to have the right respect and the right attitude in training. Otherwise, they, they won't be in the team, and he, it doesn't matter how much he costs. And that's what he's that's what he's actually made really clear to the player and to all of the players. He don't care who they are, what attitude they've got, what they cost, um, what their reputation is. You know, he's the boss, and they have to respect that. And and he's got a, uh, and it, you you saw really clearly that that team were delighted to have played that way, and they were they were absolutely jumping around, and totally ecstatic like we just won the Champions League and, and I think all the all the you know, the entire stadium was so that that was a that was a big big statement and a, and a big big the old lights back on Dave <laughs> yeah yeah I think that was a big big um, the, the two games were, re were really big and I think he's come out uh, like the tactical genius that, that, that we know he is and some other decisions that you made prior to the game, and he did again got a lot of stick online prior. Um, you know, just reading it, I was thinking, my goodness, you know, and it was bringing back in Marcus Alonso, yeah, and resting Emerson, who Emerson I thought was um, absolutely truly magnificent, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and um, we've lost the light here again, buddy. Um, don't want to burn the engine here. <laughs> Let's turn it on. <laughs> Get the old window wipers off. Um, yeah, Marcus Alonso, he stepped in and I thought uh, he'd done a really, really good job. Really good job, you know. Yeah, yeah. And he's been struggling of late and I just felt it was a, just a really first class team effort. Yeah. And Galo Kante doing his usual stuff. Yeah. In there everywhere. Absolutely blinding blame by uh, by Kante. It's just, it's just, it's just unreal, isn't it? Alonso, 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 he, Alonso was clearly was clearly tired um, you know he, he, he picked up in training he's rested him for a couple of games and he's and he's brought him back when he's back in he talks a lot about mental and physical condition and he looks at you know not just their physical condition he looks at their mental condition their attitude and everything in training he knows exactly when to rest the player, when to bring him back, and he brings uh, Alonso. He brought him back, and and it, you know, I mean, it's not it's not easy to run up and down that pitch all day long, well, throughout the, the entire throughout the entire match, and and be effective. So he's got to be on top of his on top of his game mentally and physically, uh, and, and 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 you'll see that develop into a big squad, all with the same attitude, all with the same strength, all. Um, 
working hard in training and, and, and coming together as a squad. And we, in, 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 in close season, when we bring all them players back and prop, take them out on tour or whatever we do and give them all a chance, there's going to be a few surprises there. There's going to be a few players there that um, you know we perhaps underestimated. We've got a couple of young strikers around. You know, he's he's going to really evaluate them, and he's going. You know, we're going to see a whole different. It's exactly what yeah, we yeah. need because yeah. we've got to get all this structured. All these yeah. players out there are on yeah. loan. Yeah, yeah. Our incredible youth team that for for a decade has dominated youth football. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are these are exceptional, talented yeah. kids. You know, yeah, yeah. these are thirty, forty million pound players. You know that, that you'd have to go and pay for elsewhere. You know, we need to. We, it's almost like. Because every manager comes in on a time scale, yeah. you know, where they've got to win, they've got this pedigree, they've got this reputation, yeah. where they've won trophies in the past, yeah. they've got to, you know, they, this man, this is a completely different thing, a different ethos of the style in which we play, yeah. um, the, you know, and then you've got to look and evaluate every individual player um, to, you know, to build yeah. um, the, 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 the structure of the team yeah. and the identity. Of, yeah, of the yeah. team, that's what Abramovich wanted. Yeah. He wanted Chelsea to have its own identity, yeah. and this is exactly why, uh, you know, the man, the man has been brought in, which is why he has to be given time. You yeah. cannot just, you know, knee-jerk reaction on every single yeah. situation. The primarily, the primarily uh, um, objective was to qualify, be in the top four. Yeah. And, uh, and to have a go in the Cups, well, we got to a final in one. Yeah. We got close in the other, in the FA Cup. Well, to the purpose, we drew Man United. Yeah. It's always going to be a tough game in either or. Yeah. And, uh, and we're still in Europa League, and we're still, you know, we've got a great yeah. chance there in the yeah. final 16 against Dynamo Kiev. I expect us to win that, so we'll be in the quarters there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we know, win that, yeah. which we've done in the past, yeah. you qualify for the Champions League, and that is what it's all about you yeah. know we're not at Man City's level right now or or, or even Liverpool because it's and then don't forget and even those clubs it's taken time and yeah. it's like foundations you've got to build 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 well, we're always used to winning 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 hence the 22 trade with 22 years yeah. now we've got to go right okay let's build the next 20 years yeah, yeah. yeah with what we've got because we've got some absolute we, Super talent. We've, you know. shown, we've shown in them two games that we are at the level. Of, well, we've got a plan yeah, B. We've yeah. got we've got a plan B now. Yeah. yeah? yeah. You know where we defensively, when we're strong, you know we can break at pace. You know when we, we can counter attack um, and uh, and everything else. Let's also talk. I mean, the first half. Let's talk about the game. The first half. Uh, it was pretty even. Stevens in the first half. I mean, we hit the woodwork. They hit the woodwork. Uh, Hill Guy was very unlucky, wasn't he, with that shot? Uh, when it come off the post, and then Harry Winks for them smashed the crossbar, didn't he? That, that dipping one, yeah. Caballero sort of backing back, but but uh, yeah. I don't know. But so both teams had chances. Yeah. Um, well, none of that it was actually on target for Spurs, but um, but it was sort of even, Steven. Second half, as I said, we the energy levels were still there from Chelsea, we were still pressing, yeah. and then of course we had that little bit of magic. From Pedro, where he kind of showed him on the inside, got you know turned, and his shot went through um, uh, Hugo Reese's legs, didn't it? You know, yeah, and, yeah. and that, that just you know, a lovely bit of magic from Pedro. Yeah. And he's got it. He's got that in his locker, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And um, yeah, that's exactly. If we kept up that same intensity, if we kept up that style of play throughout the whole of that game, I knew I knew we'd win it. And then players knew that we had. That's exactly what I was saying. They knew we had to win that game, and they were always going to win it, and they did win it. And 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 they'll take that into the next game. Because what we've got to do is we've got to win every game like that. Yeah. If we win every game like that, we're going to have a trophy. And. We've got a real chance of being in that top four. Someone's going to start sliding down. Well, it, it, it was almost there was three clubs going for one spot. It was almost like Tottenham's was nailed on. Yeah. But now Tottenham have now kind of slid back now yeah. Yeah. in terms of well, it's a catch up now, isn't there? Yeah. Tottenham have now lost two on the bounce, Burnley yeah. away and obviously yeah. away at Chelsea. Yeah. And they got the North London derby at the weekend. We're yeah. more than capable of losing that because yeah. as we know, yeah. form. You know, goes completely out the window on that. It's just, yeah. it's, it's you know, the game's all about um, yeah. on the day. Yeah. 
if they were to lose that, well, don't forget we've got a game in hands. Our game in hands is Brighton yeah. uh, at the bridge. Yeah. Uh, and of course, if we win at the weekend where we've got, you know, at the bottom club, Fulham, um, albeit that they will play, you know, beyond themselves, no doubt, this weekend because it's us. Um, but I expect us to win that. Yeah. The gap could be one point. Yeah, you know, yeah, and 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 of course, then you're talking two spots, yeah, where it's all right, Tottenham, Man United, Arsenal, and Chelsea, yeah. If you look at Spurs, they've got some really difficult away games. I think they've got to go to, I think right, it's only they've got to go to Liverpool, Man City, um, they've got some hard games, let's put it like that. And we have got some tough games, so we've got to go to Liverpool, we've got to go to Man United, yeah, yeah, away, yeah, um, and Everton, yeah, um, that's not an easy game in itself but we're more than capable especially if we play like that you know we play like that we we don't have to fear any team we we can shut any team down we can we can keep them out of um yeah we can stop them scoring and we can create chances now that is to to have a team that's strong um in defense and at the same time creates chances is 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 is, is that's what you're looking for that's exactly what we want and 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 all you've got to do is 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 put one or two of them in the net. If you're not conceding goals and you're creating chances, the confident builds and more of those chances get put away. That's how you win football games. Yeah. And you look great at the same time, and the players love it because they feel that they can take on anyone. I just think the passing was just absolutely sublime, you know, Fantastic. especially from the back. And uh, you know, and we've got so many players now that are kind of getting into, yeah. used to that you know, yeah. that, that system. And yeah. you know, we, as I say, we've got Hudson and Doyle, and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we've got all these youngsters coming through yeah. as well. And and the way he brought, you know, sort of um, uh, Giroud on at the end, it just it, it, we've got yeah. we've just got so many options. Like we've you got say. so many options. We've got you know, we, we we need to we need to be playing this up. Yeah, not yeah. playing it down. No, you know, no. it's, it's it's not time and doom, doom and gloom. You know, no, this no. is this is they've got they've got the potential to build. They they've got the potential to build that team and that squad into a team that could win the Champions League. It's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, but they they've got the potential of doing that. Some of them youngsters. I mean, some of them have won the European Cup in 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 the sort of you know the younger level. Yeah, youth level. Yeah, the youth level, and they and and they've won the World Cup, haven't they? Yeah, yeah for England. Yeah. You can see you can see in the future four or five Chelsea players in an England team that could win the World Cup. Yeah. I can, you know that that's my that's my vision. You know when we when we had in the past we've had two or three England England players always regular. But I could see you know three or four or five England players um, in a fast attacking adventurous style that takes on the world. I mean that's what we're trying to do: dominate Europe, dominate the world as a nation. And we're more than playing our part in that. You know the future looks fantastic. That's right, but but when you see all over social media, it's crazy, you know. There were a few that I was had to eat their eat their words with regards to that scoreline. But let's be honest here, yeah. When you looked at the last month, not just the month of February and the lineup, if you look go back over the last four or five weeks, yeah. I mean, we've played Spurs twice. In fact, three times if the two cup games and uh, you know, right tough games, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, we've played. Uh, we went. We went to Arsenal. Yeah. Away, that was a tough, you know. Yeah. But just looking in terms of the last, the the, the month of uh, February, well, we knew we had to go away to Manchester City. Yeah, yeah. we knew we were going to face them again in the in the Caribo Cup final. Yeah, yeah? yeah, you know, whichever way you look at it, they're tough games. FA Cup. Well, who do we draw? Look at all them teams that were left in the out, and we get Man United, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and, you know, it was always going to be tough, especially in the run they're in. Yeah. And then you got uh, all right the, the, the games against Malmo and you know, they're, they're still tough games you know they yeah. don't know there's gonna be no mugs are they Malmo do you know what I mean even no. you know still a trip away and, and everything yeah. else it's Thursday night yeah so every every three days there's a game yeah, yeah. and then uh, and then of course uh, as like I say Spurs Spurs again and uh, and now we, it's it's I'm not saying it's like relaxed time but there's you know what we got for, we we can now. We're not going to face a month like that, yeah. So we next time we can feel we can feel confident now. Yeah, we can feel confident. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the team is, we can feel confident that that system does work. 
it does work. We can close down any team, uh, prevent... Uh, and play our stuff. And play our stuff and look good and look attacking and look adventurous. A game that's enjoyable to watch and, and some goals come and we win a match. And, 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 and you know, you know, get Stamford Bridge rocking. And it, it, it's... You know, it's it's fantastic. He's answered all of those questions. They've certainly come out of it really well. And and the, the funny thing that always strikes me is, uh, listen, we know what the press are like. Yeah, I mean, they just they just make they make stuff up for fun. Do you know what I mean? They just yeah. they, what they do is they create a story, and then the story comes out of the story that they've created, and then they come off the reactions of the story. You know, that ain't yeah. even true. Yeah, yeah. And that is the press. You know, in 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 in, in this country. Yeah. And um, that's why, you know, we, especially in our country, it's the, it's the most distrusted press yeah. in the Western world. Yeah. Um, because it's all lies. Um, but, but and, 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 and you can honestly feel that because he's saying, like, I've got no problems with my players. I've never had a problem with my players. And if you see people like David Louise coming out saying, look, there's nothing wrong with them. We're all behind the manager. Yeah. We, you know, we're behind the manager. I don't know, what, what is... Where is all this, this the last, nonsense? The last two games, the last two games straight afterwards, the pressure asked him, and, you know, are the players with you and all the rest of it? He just says, have you seen the game? Did you watch the game? You know? Yeah, exactly. You know, and as I say, everyone's got so many plaudits for Pep Guardiola and the way he, you know, what a manager, you know, look at the way, you know, the way he gets respect and the way the Manchester City players play the game of football. That's the way, and all these incredible sort of accolades that everyone's laying out about that man and he's got nothing but n praise for Maurizio Sarri he says the man is a tactical genius, genius. He is, yeah. he's a genius right? I look you know? forward to now I look forward now with the belief that we can beat anyone and expect them to beat anyone and he's not even got his system right he's not even no. he's, he's, he's not, I'm, I'm, it's not there yet no. this is this is going to take time and uh, it, it's a process, you know, right? But we've got some great players at Chelsea, yeah. and uh, you know, and uh, and and you know what? If we have two transfer winners, where we don't, I know we're going to appeal it, yeah. And uh, and we and, and so we should, you know. Especially, I mean, it annoys me the way Man City and other clubs get away with that sort of stuff, and we always get clobbered for some reason. But the reality is, we are going to appeal it. But nevertheless, whether we do or we don't, I still think we've got enough. We've got. We've the, got that's right. The FA are going to appeal it as well because they, they, you know, they find they've done something with the FA as well. I think we'll get away with it personally. Do you right. know what I, mean? I think you know. what we've what we've done has been sanctified by the FA, and 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 it's just a battle between the club, the FA, and and UEFA. I think that you know, we we've done nothing that, that well. The FA think it's okay, so. That's the important bit. So it's, it is a battle between, you know, the FA and. But certainly, we've done nothing. We've done nothing that the FA think is wrong, and the UEFA think that the FA are wrong and we're wrong. So, you know, to actually sanction us for doing what we feel is wrong, even if even if they win the battle and and, and put some rules in place, well, okay, we'll, we'll have to adhere to those rules. But we didn't do anything that the FA thought was wrong. You know, 29 different times we've done certain things that the FA have signed off on, and and they're saying it's all wrong, and we got to be sanctioned. Well, if you if your own football association think it's okay, then then what have you done wrong exactly? Yeah, it's just it's just, it's just an absolute nonsense. It is. But uh, obviously, the second goal was a bit of a calamity on their part when it um, Trippier was sort of looked up, his keep didn't realise the keeper was rushing that way. This is a reach. He does do that. Yeah. And uh, obviously, own goal there. And um, but you've got you've got a new strike who's come on there, who's who's great at position, and he you know he's 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 jumping around, and they know how good um, Giroud is at, uh, at positions. You know they're going to have half an eye on him. It's you know that wasn't you know it was icing on the cake though. Wasn't yeah, it, really? it was icing on the cake, and, and thoroughly deserved to be fair. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, I know I'm fortunate on their part. But uh, normal service resumes uh, a, a victory against Spurs at the bridge, and, and why not? Yeah. And um, you know, um, what does it mean to you, mate, to beat Tottenham? It's just, I, 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 do you know what? It's just, it's in your DNA, isn't it? You we're, know, the like, 12th, we're, we're the twelfth. Joe Cole summed it up, didn't he? he said yeah. the culture of this club is all based around this this game, yeah. And, yeah. You know, yeah. And he's right, you know. We're the t we're the twelfth man. 
we're the 12th man as supporters if we absolutely believe that they're doing the right thing even if they go out on that pitch and they put that sort of effort in and and we get an unlucky own goal or we you know make a mistake and somebody puts it in the back of the net even if we if we come fifth in the league even if we lose that um europa league it, as long as we put in that level of performance then we should be jumping around. We should be jumping around, applauding it. If they put that amount of effort in, we've got to applaud them no matter what. Mm. And, and you know, they've got to go in the pre... Obviously, I want to win. Yeah, obviously, I want to be in the top four. Obviously, I want to be Close. in Europe. Yeah. Um, and, and we... But if they put that amount of effort in, they should get that as a reward. If they don't, then it's just, you know, luck wasn't with us or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's the performance that's the important thing. You remember when we were dominating the league, you know, when, yeah. when uh, Mourinho was around, and he he never really bothered too much about the result. He was all about the performance when he was, you know, properly yeah. on it. It's all about the performance. If you put a performance in like that, you might not win the cup. But if you put a performance in that like that, you'll deserve to win it. It became more about the result, though, like, didn't it? With him, like you know, sort it, of it then became it's too defensive. But if you put in a performance like that, oh, Dave's phone's going off now. It's probably sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll cut that bit out, Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But uh, well, listen, mate. Um, that was, fantastic. That was, that was David Webb. Oh, David yeah. Webb. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really no, David Webb. Know, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love old David Webb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last did, manager yeah. before the Hodder we were. I remember with David Webb, he was manager of us. Yeah. And uh, it was the last game of the season away at Sheffield United, Bramall Lane. Yeah. And we all went up there in fancy dress. Yeah. And little did we know that uh, the following season, Mr. Glenn Hoddle yeah. um, was going to take over. Yeah. And he revolutionised yeah, yeah. our football club, you know, and the way we played. And, yeah, yeah. And, he started the revolution. He, he did yeah, start yeah. again. And yeah. we people talk about revolution. We had. Incredible times, yeah. Um, you know, people, our history going all the way back actually yeah, as yeah. a football club. Obviously, yeah. we were very we were decent in the 50s, we won the yeah. league 55, yeah, yeah. Ted uh, Drake and all that, yeah. And then in the 60s, we were good with Doherty's Diamonds, we were the nearly men, weren't we? In them yeah. semis, yeah, yeah, and uh, and everything else. And then 70s, glorious times, 80s was yeah. terrible, yeah. um, as you know, it was because uh, the club were in big, 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 big trouble, yeah, yeah. And then uh, the 90s, obviously, 94, 94, uh, Glenelg. And Joe, you know, just going back, I don't know what we're talking about, honestly, actually, but um, uh, I remember us being invited to a Makita International uh, by Tottenham. And it was Lazio, Tottenham, us, and Ajax. Yeah. Uh, it was a two day event. Yeah. And it, I think they invited us because of the Hoddle thing. We was yeah. at White Hart Lane for two yeah. days. Yeah. And we packed out. We had the whole of the park, the park Lane packed, you know, yeah. Chelsea there, everything mental. And um, uh, we got a 1 1 draw, I think, with Ajax. And we won a penalty shootout. And we ended up playing Spurs in the final. They smashed Lazio. Yeah. And it was, so it's a Chelsea Spurs final the following day. Yeah. So, you know. And um, we beat Tottenham 4 0. Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. I'll never forget that. I'm going, my mate, I'll sit there and I'll say, we're playing football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was incredible, you know. We had yeah, Gavin yeah. Peacock. We were past yeah, yeah. and moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck's going on here? You know, um, and it was you know that influence and going back to Maurizio Sarri. Yeah, yeah. This is the point, I guess, I'm trying to make here because I'm not saying that you can't compare the last sort of ten, fourteen years of terrible times. Of course you can't. They've been euphoric times, fantastic times. Yeah. But if we're talking about styles, yeah? This is the uh, style we've the style. always been looking for. And and what they've added to that style is passion. Yeah. That's what they've now got is passion. Passion, yeah. And belief. And that's what you need. You know, all right, they've been learning the system, but now they passionately believe in it. That's why you're going to make some mistakes, you know? Yeah, yeah. You are going to make some mistakes, yeah, yeah. and you are going to get pinged every now and again. Yeah. You are going to lose your way, and you get bought back again. And yeah, yeah. It's a bit like the sales profession, isn't it? You know, yeah, yeah. like you know where you you come off a course, right? Yeah, you've been taught for say a week, two weeks, yeah, put yeah. up in a hotel, yeah. intensifyingly taught yeah. everything yeah. for eight hours a day. You have your bit of food, and everyone's like all yeah, gathering yeah. a communal yeah, yeah. thing, and then it's communal classes there for the following. And you come off that course, and you're buzzing, like waiting. Yeah. Just give me a lead, give me yeah. a lead. I want to get yeah. on a lead. I want to go and sell it, yeah. and just 
pure, pure enthusiasm, you've got this structure that you're yeah. following there. Yeah, yeah. This selling circle, yeah, that you've yeah. got from A to B, one yeah. to ten, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Setting the scene of consolidation, right? Yeah. All the way along the line, right? You're just pinging it, aren't you? Yeah, through pure enthusiasm, right? And passion and passion, right? Yeah. And you get an immense lift, right? And yeah. all of us. That's why rookies are the best salesmen in the world, aren't they? In the yeah. first two weeks, they will sell. Yeah, they will yeah. sell. They've got no preconceived ideas. Yeah. They're just following a frigging system, yeah. right? Okay, and they don't know any of the bad. They don't. They picked up no bad habits. Yeah. It's just that is the way they have been taught. Yeah. 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 And what happens is, right, you just get this incredible success yeah. because people buy people yeah. and everything is about how you think yeah. and that is what they project on the, uh, you know, what yeah. they project out there. Yeah. And then, incredulously, right, okay, what happens is, after a couple of weeks, you get a little slight dip, didn't you? Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, and, and, and as we all know, right, it's a roller coaster. Yeah. And the most important thing in life is not to do ups and downs and dips and troughs, yeah. it's to go as an equilibrium, isn't it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's where our players are right now. So yeah. we had this initial massive lift before, and we've got great players, so they're always going to be good and decent enough to get results regardless. Yeah. But when you hit a dip, it's it's all about self-doubt. Yeah. 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 And I was, oh, hang on, hang on. you know, is, is this, and, and, and confidence, yeah. everything. Yeah. The mind is, we're, you know, we're boring you out there. It's made up of two parts, isn't it? The yeah. conscious and the subconscious yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how you think. Yeah. Because whatever you think, you're going to do. Yeah. And if you think it's shit, yeah. and you think, oh, there we go again. Yeah. Look, people used to talk about our record against Tottenham, right? And uh, the, Years, years and years. 1986 was the last time, apart from last year, with Tottenham break the hoodoo. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's incredible how they went on a couple of runs there, they're beating us, isn't it, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen to this one, right? All those years, right? Okay, it's not coincidence. You've got two, a big, big, this is a Tottenham big side, no matter what, yeah. and they were constantly losing him in the last minute or the. Right? And that, you don't, that doesn't just happen, right? right? That's right. psychological, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that's why uh, it's like uh, someone in sales. Let's say, let's say they're canvassing or whatever on the yeah, doors, yeah, yeah. and they go an hour. They go out there with the greatest enthusiasm in the world, yeah, yeah. and they go right that, and they're pitching, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like right, they're getting no, 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 and their body language is going like that, and they're yeah. you know, everything's like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right, okay, and it's almost at the point where they're flat now. Yeah, yeah. You know, do you want to apply? And then all of a sudden, someone says, uh, "Yeah, actually, I, I do," you know, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like it's ping, they're back up again, yeah, yeah. and they've got that, they've booked that appointment, yeah, and then. Three minutes later, they're pulling something else yeah. because the attitude yes. and the mindset has changed, That's right. and that yeah. is where these players are at right now. And anyone that don't fucking understand that, yeah. fucking better do because let me tell you something now: we are trying to change a fucking philosophy here. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know and it's not. You know, it's just honestly, I understand it. You understand it. We, we both it's understand about, it. It's about. We're the 12th men. Yeah. Us supporters. We need and you to be, have to believe. We, we need to be bouncing. We need to be singing that team, you know, and the, and they need to be feeding off that, and we need to be feeding off their their passion and belief. And if we do that, we'll have exciting times, regardless of what happens. We'll have exciting times because they'll have given it their all, and, and, and you can't ask for more than that. And sometimes you get a bit of luck, and sometimes you won't. But... If you play like that, you usually get what you deserve, and that's 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 what you'll see the rest of the season. I I, I think Arsenal will slip because they tend to run out of gas a bit towards the end of the season. Um, I'll do, I'll, I'll, Man United are due a drip, aren't they? They 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 due a little dip in form, and it'd be interesting to see again. But what I was saying a minute ago, yeah. how Oligo Solskjaer deals with that situation yeah, and yeah. the players yeah, yeah. Well, they've got good players don't get me wrong yeah. but how are they cope when they have their little dip you know yeah. right? because they're not he's not faced that as a manager no. that's why you talk to a lot of Man United fans yeah. I'm not saying they're not the intelligent ones but a lot of them recognise that yeah of course he's done a fantastic job why wouldn't you put him as a manager the next year well you wouldn't because you want something slightly better you want someone tactically you know what I mean like you know and uh Listen, it, it, the game's about opinions, and there's Chelsea fans out there that are gonna not want this man in control, of, you know, to be manager of the football club. They want someone bigger and better. 
And of course, if someone offered us Zidane and the guarantee that Roman was going to spend 300 million, I think we'd all want that, wouldn't we? You know, but we're in a process and I, f you always, I think we're going to get our rewards later on down if the line. We, if, we, if we get in the top four, if we, get in the, if we were to get in that top four and we were to win that Europa League, Abramovich will get an increased bid from that, that billionaire and he'll come in and I'm and, and I'm sure he'll back Britain you know I'm, and I'm sure that he will back the process and I'm sure he'll, he'll he'll keep things going exactly as they are and and he's got the money and the patience to be able to see that through and that's what we need we need somebody who's going to back it and give us time to actually build build that that philosophy, that 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 culture of fast attacking football, but but strong in defence with heart and desire, uh, with comfortable on the ball, easy a, on the in eye. A, in, a, in, a, in a in a squad of players who are always ready to come on and make a difference. It's all about the team. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Look, if you look down the years, right, and you look at the international teams of, of yesteryear, right? Yeah. What are the teams that people remember? Well, I'll tell you something now. Brazil have won the World Cup loads of times, yeah? yeah. All, all the way through their history. Yeah. But do you know what? Everyone, when everyone talks about the greatest Brazilian side ever, they always talk about Brazil 82, the 82 side. Yeah. Why? They never won the World Cup. They got to the quarterfinals, Italy knocked them out. I think yeah. Paolo Rossi, 4-3 or 3-2. Three, yeah. three, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But they had players like Socrates and Edir and Falcao. Yeah. Yeah. Just, honestly, it was just a joy. A joy to watch. Yeah. What about the Dutch? That Dutch side that back-to-back, yeah. -back, two yeah. World Cups they lost to the yeah. methodical Germans yeah. and uh, Argentinians, yeah. right, yeah. okay? Yeah. You know, in Buenos Series and all that one. Uh, with a ticker tape. But that... Dutch side, yeah, with Cruyff and yeah. Naiskins and yeah, yeah. you know, that, that's it's, it's. We got a few. We got a few. We got a few youngsters who who could reach that level in an England shirt and, and cause any team in the world problems. And, and 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 that's that's what we're developing. That's what we're helping develop. And there's a lot of other clubs around the country that are developing. Uh, England players. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of skill in England now. We're really putting a lot of work in. Yeah, well, it's completely players. different. Di different, completely different. Yeah. Now, and, 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 and you know, these are young. The, the, the England side is young, and um, they will grow and develop. And we, you know, we've we've got to reach for the top. We have, we've got to win that World Cup again. We've got to be European champions. That's that's what we've got to do, and we've got to deserve to be by outplaying everyone. That's that's what that's where we're trying to get to, and win the league, win everything. That's what we've got to try and do. Well, twenty-two years, twenty-two trophies. It's been yeah. it's been a great time for us. I just think now's the time to show a little bit of patience yeah. and enjoy. You know, enjoy. you celebrate. You know, I don't yeah. know about you. I went out today. With a spring in my step, you know, yeah, yeah, just yeah. fantastic feeling. Left it. Fantastic, like you we know. knew, we yeah, we knew we had to win that match, but we've also got to win the next match. Yeah, full of the weekends. That's it. Right then, guys. Well, listen, we're going to wrap up now. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please let us know down below in the comments section. Uh, Dave, thank you once again, mate, for yeah. coming on. <laughs> fantastic. If you like it, you'll see lots of positive comments about you, Dave. And uh, it's it's really nice to see. So thank you, guys, out there. And uh, keep yeah. supporting Chelsea yeah. SW6 and win, lose, or draw. Keep the blue flag flying high. That's Good it. Good night.